so that you could pay the rent, you could pay your other little bills, and you could pay for food. But why do you want people to provide 40 times the rent? Like, what? It's just the math, that just does not add up to me. What do you want people to know uh, about you as an artist? That, um, I don't know if it's about me, but I think just creativity in general, you know, just doing what you want is so important. I've been watching you from afar. Yes, I can remember. You're all around me, I can be. Now it's just for me. This is the long term. This is more than a crash. Why now, polish ten toes down? God that you guys can see me because I cannot flip the camera out on this thing I can't flip the screen out and see and I really wanted to you know just do a little something, something I'm gonna try to show you guys this product it's the vitamin C I got it from Colombia and this is a niacinamide which I also got from Colombia. I got from this place called Pharma to Pharma Todo. Far Pharma Todo. <laughs> Pharma Todo. Um, I did not walk with my retinol, which I really should be putting on at night. But honestly, I've been enjoying putting on his vitamin C. Which I love to slap on my face. If y'all didn't know, I wear glasses. Welcome to the, the club. I'm getting a phone call, guys. Give me a minute. So, yeah. There's this water, though. This still water that was in the refrigerator. I think they're complimentary. Amazing. Um. Okay, I haven't drank yet. I can't say amazing. What actually came to mind when I said amazing was GDK, which... Um, when I saw the sign, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but when I saw the sign, I'm pretty sure it said German dinners kebab. I don't know, man. That's what it said. But GDK, I guess it's a brand here, not a brand, a chain restaurant here in the UK. And as you saw from my earlier clips, I'll just throw over some of them while I talk about it again. Amazing. I couldn't even show you the food because i literally inhaled it that quick it was absolutely 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 delicious like i want to go back tomorrow and buy one for myself again and buy another one for mummy uh and put it in the in the galley so i can bring it back so she can try it and see how delicious it was. It was so good. Like, I'm still thinking about it. I did buy a... I bought two things. I'm going to read them off to you. I bought... Ooh, the donor, or donor, but donor box fries and salad. Love that so good i can actually show you these uh it comes with a side of cheese well it doesn't come with a side of cheese i asked for cheese this is actually what it comes with which is the um garlic sauce they have a yogurt sauce sorry it might be a little blurry and they have a spicy sauce these three is what it comes with and i got the cheese on the side i'm gonna put them in the fridge now it was so good like when I tell you how good it was I don't even think you'll believe me it was just delicious I definitely a hundred percent will be getting it again and again and again like every time I come I am going to get it now the next thing I got was the donor burger and I got the chicken burger I apologize excuse me 
the chicken burger. Oh, so good. And you know what I did? I used the same sauce that you can use for the donor box and fries. And I just dip it or I just rub it on the burger and I bite into it. And it's absolutely it's just so amazing i don't know it's my new favorite restaurant here in um it's german donor kebab not dinner german donor kebab i know you can't really see it that well but gdk for short amazing like i can't i, I don't know i'm ranting about this food it was great it's great. I spent 11 pounds and 46 cents and I will spend it again tomorrow just to bring some home. It was just so good. Like I can't, I can't even, I can't even. The water is good as well. I never had water in a can before, so that's interesting, but it tastes nice. Anywho, I'm going to edit a little bit in bed. Like I said, it is after one almost going into two so i'm gonna edit until probably 2 30 3 o'clock and then go to sleep i want to wake up around 6 a.m 7 and head on the road i have the cutest outfit and i also bought these new shoes let me show you they're clean i've never worn them before these are what they look like oh my god i love them so much like i'm so in love i do not want to wear them i just want to frame them I love them. They're the Adidas Samba. And it's in this beautiful colorway. But I gotta go. I'm getting a call. So I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning. I'm actually heading down to get the complimentary breakfast. Complimentary breakfast. And then I'm gonna head to the gym. The complimentary breakfast ends soon, so I need to hurry up. And it's probably picked over. That's what I realize happens um, at the like, very last part, like the very hour before it ends. It's basically empty. So let me go down there. Um, <sighs> um, let me show you my gym outfit. This is it right here. I feel my tummy is getting flat. um and i just have on my sneakers this is from victoria's secret mommy had bought it for me a long time ago almost like three years ago it is absolutely amazing one thing with victoria's secret they have some really nice quality leggings yoga pants whatever they got some really nice quality bottoms they just look so good but anywho let's head to the gym Let's round it up. Um, my watch is kind of dying and I don't really have the right outlet. I didn't realize the like the Europe England and the rest of Europe have this different outlets. England has like one kind, the rest of Europe shares the same kind. It's really annoying. <laughs> I did not realize. So it's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out if I'm going to charge my watch with my laptop. I've charged my work device and I charged my phone, which is already on 95%. Um, because I have a USB, like a regular USB extension, which they have outlets. USB outlets. Um... So I need, to, I need to figure some stuff out. But anyways, my day I shut off in the ears and breakfast is going by me. So let's go. I'm gonna grab my key. This some water. I'm not gonna bring this up though. gym and they have these um complimentary multivitamin drink so i'm gonna try it it's supposed to have 
vitamin C, vitamin D6, biotin, niacin, vitamin E, pantothenosyl, whatever that is, uh, B12, B2, vitamin A, and phosphorus C. I don't know. I don't know if they made all of that up, <laughs> but it looks good. So let's see how it tastes. I don't know, it tastes to me like, um, you know, V8 Splash. It's not bad. All right, let's go back to the room. All right, guys, I am, I'm ready. This is my little outfit. It's just jeans on jeans on gray and my Adidas shoes that I showed you guys. I really love this outfit. I'm so proud of myself. I think it's really, really cute. I even have a gray clip. Like, come on now. Come on now. I love this. Um, I didn't get to curl the back part of my hair. I don't think I'm going to because I'm going to try to curl it for the flight home. Um, I'm not putting on any makeup because I'm going to wear makeup for the flight home. I'm gonna wanna dry out, dry out my skin. But don't wanna dry out, dry out my skin. Matter of fact, let me walk with this lotion. I looked up the the temperature and it says it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Probably like 19, 20, no, probably like 20 degrees Celsius or something like that. I don't know. Let me actually look because I wanna be more inclusive. So let me see the weather. Let's see the weather. Let's see. Uh, Jada sent me some recommendations of places to go to. And I think I might see her today as well. So outside is 15. See? I was so close. I mean, I said 20 and then I said 19 and I wasn't too sure. But 15 degrees Celsius. And I think that's 50, 50, um, 59, 59 degrees. So it's cool. It's cool outside. Um, <laughs> let me go. Turn off this light. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I have a burger in here. I don't want to forget it. Um, all right, I'm done talk. <laughs> I'm in Marks and Spencer and the prices here are just so amazing like look at this salmon two for ten pounds I don't know I don't know and I picked up um some pantyhose I got an opaque one and I got a sheer one eight pounds and then ten pounds like you cannot beat that price I just wish the quality is great so we'll see when I come back from my outing today, I'm going to come over here and buy some cooked stuff to bring back. But it's really, it's giving Trader Joe's, but like, much better. <laughs> I really like it. Alright, I'll be right back. This is the train station that I'm going to be taking. I'm going to go to Cromley. I think that's what the area is called. Honestly, have no idea. Let me look it up. I'm going to South Kensington, so let's see.
National History Museum. They're probably gonna tell me no videoing, so I may have to use my phone. But look at this. This is a Stegosaurus. Did not pronounce that right. But it's the most complete one they have in the world. Scary. Let's go and check it out because I have to leave in about an hour. I'll finish with inside of the museum, which is to my right. Um, it's almost two o'clock. I want to find some shops, like maybe even a Boots or a Super Drug or a Primark or something, you know, anything. And go in and see if I can find some bits and bobs. And then I'm going to take the train back to where I was before. I feel like a local <laughs> even though I did get on the wrong train stop I did get on the wrong train and I had to like catch another train back to the direction that I was meant to go in now I feel like a local the museum was really nice and I hope you liked all the clips that I gathered I didn't end up going into like the full dinosaur exhibit because uh, if I spend my money on it I want to be able to really go through and like really look at things and take in you know everything sorry the lighting is so bad the sun is really shining in my forehead so I didn't I didn't go in that one because I just wouldn't have time to really soak it all in 
but I did look through at everything else as you saw and like it was just really beautiful like I loved all the pieces granted some of them are stolen <laughs> but that's neither here nor there that's a topic for another day uh, regardless I hope you enjoy and let's continue on with our day got my Google Maps up and running and basically I'm walking to the next train station so when I was coming here I passed the train station that was called I think I don't know guys I'm sorry but I passed that train station it was the one before the one that I got off at so basically I'm walking to it which is perfect because then I can just jump jump on that tube and get back home so I'm, I'm walking in the best direction that I possibly could be walking in while observing scenery I'm not gonna lie I've heard Lydia Dinga talk about Tesco so I'm just gonna step inside just to see what they sell <laughs> The food here just looks so much more healthy. Like, but I've already made up my mind that I'm gonna buy the food closer to the hotel. Just in case, you know? I don't wanna spend too much time on Laga Laga. But the food options. Why didn't you guys tell me that the UK got some great food options? Y'all are keeping it a secret for me. I don't like that. All right, before I do anything else, I'm definitely going to buy some KFC just to test it out. Because I heard KFC in the UK is good. I don't know if there's a specific location that I should have tested out, but I heard it's good. So we're going to try it. Let's see, let's see. I'm trying to read the menu to see what they got going on. I'm going to get the Colonel's Meal two pieces. And I'm going to get the Kansas... I'm ready. <laughs> Can I get the Colonel's meal two piece and the uh, can I have leg and thigh? Yeah. And drink um I'll take the iced tea. And then can I have a Kansas barbecue dip bites? Just the extra Yes. Uh takeaway. Thank you. This is it. Thank you very much. Let me just show y'all real quick. Some barbecue bites. Thank you. And I got. I can't see, but. When we get back to the hotel, I will do my comparison. But again, we gotta go. B Squad, I am back in the hotel. And I'm gonna try out the KC with you. Let me drink some of this juice, even though the ice is already melted. First of all, clearly I picked a default straw. Uh oh. I have a straw in my bag, but I don't want to wash it. Yeah, this is the default straw. I'll just drink it like this. I got some iced tea. And it tastes really good. It don't taste as like sweet or bland like iced tea tastes sometimes. Um, here's the chicken. And that was it. Like I said, everything came up to £8.78. Let me jump right in. I got barbecue. I told you what I got already. I can't remember right now. But they really... 
And then put a bunch of barbecue sauce in a cup. I'm mixing it up in a cup with some nuggets. That's basically what this is. So let's try it out. Mm. Not bad. Here's some fries. Yeah, the barbecue bites aren't bad. I think the barbecue sauce is overwhelming. There's a lot more sauce than needs to be. But it doesn't taste bad. The fries is also fine. Mind you, everything's a little bit cold. From when I first got it till now, it's probably a good 40 minutes, so. I did try the fries when it was warm, man. It was good. Alright, for the start of the show, the reason why we all go to KFC is across the world. Most KFCs, that is. The chicken. Now, this chicken looked like the same type of chicken that you would get um from america it's definitely giving original chicken that you would get in jamaica i'm not the biggest fan of original chicken i'm just going to be completely honest i love spicy chicken and i love barbecue chicken um i want to bite one more of the barbecue bites <laughs> but i'm gonna test in and drop the chicken so i got leg and thigh You know what? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I definitely, I think I'll give it, um, I'm trying to think about the experience. The specific AC that I went to was empty, and that's not really good. That's not a good sign. That's not a telling sign. <laughs> it was empty, so I got through pretty quickly. The people were nice. My food came, like I said, quick. Um, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. It still does not touch Jamaican chicken, but this is much better than KFC that you would get in America. And for someone that doesn't like original style chicken, I like this original chicken better than the original chicken in Jamaica. So that's my, that's my breakdown. The... The barbecue was overwhelming. The meat itself is really good, especially with the barbecue sauce. It's just way too much sauce. But the chicken, the chicken tastes really good. Whoever seasoned this chicken, mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't taste undercooked, it doesn't taste raw. Like it can taste the seasoning and it don't it's not overwhelming. Okay, UK. Give you guys a pat on the back. Mm. Alright. I'm gonna continue eating this. And then I'm going to get ready for work. I'm gonna leave my bag at concierge. And I'm gonna go to Marks and Spencer and buy some pasta to bring home. You can tell I like this, okay? These are like this. I'll be back. As you start to fall your breath, the sensation of deep taste is beginning to permeate your entire body.
Hey guys, so I'm heading back to New York. I hope you enjoyed the time at the museum and all the amazing food. And again, since we always talk about KFC in different countries, drop your comments down below. If you have any recommendations for anybody visiting London or what I should do the next time I'm here, then please drop a comment. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Turn right onto Weaver Street. Okay, um, Rich Bell Road. Keep going. At the next right. Take the next right. Pop, show them your nails. So these are mommy's nails. My treat. <laughs> and then these are mine. Same thing that I got last time. Mommy and I have found our spot and we'll be coming back here more often. I couldn't get any clips for you guys. Oh, you can go on, Mommy. I couldn't get any clips for you guys um, because we came like literally before closing. Wait, no, no, wait, I go. Mm-hmm. You can you can exit all this way, so turn out. Oh my god, I gotta be teaching my mom everything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um I'm gonna go behind go behind the cars. Yeah, so we came late so I couldn't get you guys any footage, you know, that I would have loved to get you. But we got our nails did. Next time we move foot. Mm-hmm. Eh. Yeah, yeah, eat. Mm -hmm. We eat already. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, eat consistent, consistently. You say you feel weak. Why you feel weak? Yeah, but you take this man. Old age. Oh, 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 oh. Well, everybody mm -hmm. has to get older. Well, <laughs> and everybody said some dead young. Some dead are true. Well, you call you call the mother, not the daughter, so she's here. <laughs> mm -hmm. You call the mother, not the daughter, so she's here. Oh, the mother. Uh, Where are you going, Papa? Can you know you hear me? Can you hear me? The car business. All right, we are back at home. And I gotta go edit. I gotta go finish editing tomorrow's vlog. <sighs> I got the thumbnail. <laughs> I got the thumbnail, but I keep procrastinating. I'm gonna put on a movie like Princess and the Frog. Or should I start my Halloween movie watching early? No. I have a plan to watch like one Halloween themed movie a day in October. And I'm gonna do my calendar for that so I'm not gonna start watching any movies early I may even do like marathons so instead of watching one movie if I'm gonna like watch Halloween Town I'm gonna watch like probably the first two or the first three of the Halloween Town movies in one day or one night whenever I have my day off or I'm not flying I go watch um, and like watch Lord of the Rings oh it gotta be one of those cuz I do not have six hours to watch two movies, much less watch all three of them. Um, yeah, give me the jacket. You don't have to give me it. You take it. Okay, thank you. It's so nice of mommy. All right, guys, I'll see you when I get upstairs. Good morning. It is 8.30, September 24th. I'm actually heading out to go to JFK on standby. I don't even have time. I just wanted to say hi. Bye. <laughs> I'll see you in the crew room. All right guys, leave it up to me to miss the train. So the next one comes in 44 minutes, 42, 42 minutes. I'll still get to um, work early. Well, not as early as I would have liked but I'll still get to work early. Unfortunately, if I wasn't like walking with all these things, I think I would have made it, but ultimately I missed it. And I think I burned my forehead, which is even more annoying. Hold on. 
the light is right behind me. But there's a lot of people in here, so I don't want to face the other way. Long Island Railroad. I'm taking the subway. I don't feel like taking the subway today. So I'm gonna pay that extra two dollars and take the LIRR. But I didn't get to show you guys my pasta. I'm gonna have to put one in the fridge. Hopefully I don't forget it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna set an alarm so I don't forget one of them. But as soon as I get to the airport, I'm gonna eat one. This is the pasta that I got from Marks and Spencer's, and this is the pesto chicken pasta. And then I think I'm gonna save this one for lunch time. Sorry, the camera is on my lunch kit. This one is the chicken, bacon, and sweet corn pasta salad. Oh my god, you cannot tell me this does not sound delicious. And they're cold pastas. At least I believe they're cold pastas. Me and mommy have been eating. Oh god, it's open. Sorry. Mmm. That tastes so good. Sorry. It opened by accident. But mommy and I have been eating them cold this oh my god this is lunch and my camera is falling and the train is about to move so as soon as i get to the crew room i will definitely pull y'all back out I'm done for the day. I'm waiting for mommy because she offered to pick me up today. I finished editing my vlog and it says checking. I can show you if it will. I don't think it, oh it does, it is. And then it got blurry. It's this one right here. And I'm waiting for it to finish say checking. Um. But make sure you check out all these other vlogs. I have so many amazing vlogs that you guys can be checking out that y'all not checking out. So I'd really appreciate it. When I get home, I'm gonna fix my bangs. Cause the bangs, oh, 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 are greasy. <laughs> that was so corny. All right. Good morning, guys. So I tried to export this vlog yesterday which was Sunday the 24th. Today is Monday the 25th. Um, good morning. I really tried to export it and for some reason it just, I don't know, I don't know. Hold on. So here's the vlog, right? I thought everything was fine and dandy. Let me let this. I'm gonna skip it because I'm gonna delete this. <laughs> Look at that. Talking no sound. It starts. You no, know, Optimum okay. Fiber Internet gives you speeds up to 8 gig. Oh, that's fast. The fastest in the New York tri state. And combine internet with Optimum Mobile. It starts with sound, as you can hear. Starts with sound. And it cuts out for the entire vlog. <sighs> for the entire vlog and then my thing didn't work i need to test out i don't know if i can put <sighs> there's so much just give me a second i'm frustrated <laughs> i got some bills <clears throat> this is the wrong these are the wrong people's mail uh-oh Uh oh, uh oh. This is mine. I got a lot of mail. And today we send our mail from Buffalo. Because what if we don't stay in this apartment? You know, you have to just keep change changing your address. 
and that's kind of excessive if you ask me so for like major stuff the address remains buffalo and then Auntie Debbie just mails it to us Oh my god, I got so much mail. That's gross. Uh-oh. Alright, so I'm about to flat iron my hair. I got the iron down there. I think I'm going to try to put some curls in it or something. I don't know. The front part of my hair, however, has to be washed out like this part. Now I understand when white girls say that their hair is oily. Like this ain't white people hair. This is Asian people hair. <laughs> now I'm, I'm being like completely serious. Um, but very fine straight hair does get oily really quickly because um, that's why it wasn't catching a curl. Because I was complaining yesterday about how. It never looked nice when I take out the setters as compared to when I was in London. Um, it's because, honey, the hair is oily. So it was just never gonna do what we wanted it to do. I would put some rollers, not rollers, some pins in it. But this is the lazy girl version. I just want to see how it would look. I'm gonna start from the middle and work my way out. Let me see if I can work some magic. What I learned is to do it like this. Come back out. Do it like that. Do it like that. Come back out. Do it like that. Um, It's not like the type of curls that I want. But it looks pretty damn good, so a girl cannot complain. It's very, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Just finished curling my hair and I pinned it up because I didn't want it to get like, you know, messed up or anything. But I did get a signed standby at JFK for 3 p.m. and it's now 10.34. So I'm going to get ready and leave out. It looks so bad outside. Like when I tell you it looks real bad. It's like summer. Summer came. Packed its bags. And left immediately. On the 21st. Left immediately. My vlog is almost done uploading literally 14 seconds. Then it's going to check. There shouldn't be any issues. Like I literally everything should be fine and i'm just gonna let it go but i need to go get ready uh i'll be at jfk for six hours so i'm only good for i think two days they could send me somewhere for two days i don't know or not either way i'm getting that money um and i'm gonna start editing this vlog right now uh I'm going to charge my camera. I'm rambling. I'm going to try to wash up some of these dishes. Put some of the stuff in the fridge. Um, and here I was. I thought I was going to film a video. T I mean, I am filming this vlog. But I thought I was going to do a sit-down video. Every time I have in my mind to do a sit-down video, I always have to go. So I really need to plan out a day where I'm off and do that. But this week, I'm off on the 27th and the 28th. And I may go to LA. Not LA, bit. Not LA, um, Atlanta. I may go to Atlanta um, to have lunch with one of my colleagues, not colleagues, my fellow alums, my fellow alums from university. So that will be fun. I'm only going to go for a day. Um, so yeah. actually exporting the vlog now uploading it now I should say I just hope everything works out because I'm tired I walked with that laptop in my hand for half the journey just so it can export 
Um, I have um, my neighbor Totoro from Studio Ghibli playing because I'm gonna go buy some Starbucks. I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna treat myself and I'm gonna clock in in 30 minutes and come back up here and edit. I did walk with some tea. The thing is gone, but I have some green tea in here and it's gonna stay hot all day. Well, the whole time I'm here. That's amazing. But anyways, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, my hair isn't looking too crazy. This side is flat, but this side is cute. Isn't it cute? And the curls have kind of fallen a little bit, but I spritzed it, so we should be fine. Anyways. Let's see. Oh my god, it's so cute. Dripping some Bigfoot back from Jamaica and that's what I'm eating today for lunch and dinner you know when I go home I'll eat dinner because I don't think they're gonna use me I'm good for another two hours but it's a spicy one I didn't realize it tastes nice nonetheless I know a lot of people like the spicy one. It won't focus. Excuse me. Do you know who her is? Every time I look over there at you, I think her. Can you sing? Okay, you get tall. Yeah. Uh -huh. I know you wish you had a bank account. Give me that. Turtle, it's a party. Oh, stop calling me turtle, I hate it. But look at your cute little turtle now. Nice. Just give it to me. You're going to get me in trouble. I'm supposed to be watching you. <laughs> Every time I look at my vlog footage now, I think about <sighs> my amazing subscribers. Cause like there's no more lines. I can move about the place and there's no more lines. Oh my God, Dane Visuals, thank you so much. I am, and I'm using manual. I'm using manual, that means I am controlling the shutter speed, controlling the aperture, controlling the exposure. Um, I'm so grateful, like I really do need to learn these things more. So, thank you so much. I just received my package i was on tiktok and i got influenced along with like 300 other people <laughs> to buy some shoes and i went on the website it's on sale um it's on sale it's valued at 129 dollars and i got it for 60. Technically, it was, yeah, it was like $59, but after tax and shipping, it came to $65, $67. Um, if you want, I, well, I think I'll just leave the, the link down in the description box. But this is it. It's from um, Jessica Simpson, and she really does have some amazing heels. That girl, that woman, really did some magic with her heels. I think I have another Jessica Simpson heel, but oh, here it is. It's these. Oh my God, look. Let me put them on my foot and I'll show you in the mirror, but they have these heels. The bottoms are black. I hate when the shoes is black and the bottoms are brown. The bottoms are black. It's a little bit sticky. Oh, you know what? They took this off the floor at some location. This was in person somewhere and they took the they took the sticker off. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on right now though. Here they are again. Oh you can see it kind of better without all the light. Let me see. Ooh, this is all the way down. I don't know where I'm wearing this to. Child. I have not been going 
anywhere. These are eight and a half. At least it should be. <laughs> yeah, it's eight and a half. So let me see. Ooh, they are kind of tight. Ciao. I'm just going to zip these in just to see if I can wear it with pants. Because if I can zip these in, that means I can zip my jeans in. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, wow. This is. Wow. <laughs> this is sexy. Oh my gosh. Let me put the other foot on. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like SpongeBob. It's kind of tight though. I could have gone for a nine. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to get a nine because I cannot wear socks in this. Well, no, this is tight. It's so sexy. I can't get over it. All right. All right, so I'm here at DSW, and let me show you the shoes. Brown, these are so cute. Ooh, these are so cute. So unfortunately, I do not see the model of the shoes, but I see the other sizes, and I don't see the size that I need, and that's kind of worrying me, because I need an eight. I see a seven, I see tens, I see nines, I don't see an eight. Your girl needs an eight, because I got a 10 right here and that does not that's not my size i'm an eight and a half i'll either size down to an eight or size up to a nine but i cannot wear seven and i cannot wear ten guys a mommy turned into the wrong area so no i had to walk over to the popeyes um <laughs> popeyes in america i think is a lot better than popeyes in jamaica but I'm just giving my Jamaicans time to perfect it. I'm here with mommy. What I was trying to say before is, obviously I feel like Louisiana and those southern states have the best yeah, well, that's because that's, that, that's where it come from. But as for New York, I think Jamaica will, you know, you know. But for Louisiana, South Carolina, them place there, and probably have the best. That's where it's from. Back home and unfortunately, I think I shared this, but if I didn't, I didn't end up getting the shoes. So they're going to have to mail it to me. Um, so hopefully I get it soon. Mommy will get some type of confirmation or something. Um, this shoes though, okay, don't mind my room. My room is such a mess. But this shoes, I love the shoes. Anyways, I'm watching um, something on hbo max and it's so good it's called gangs of london it is so good and i'm eating my mama Good morning guys actually just walked to the bank um let's do something but I'm heading back home I need to go to the gym I literally sat for hours in the bed thinking I was gonna go to the gym and I did not so now I got my water I got everything I need I'm just gonna go straight to the gym and yeah it's getting a bit cold but in a tool bag you know like i'm in a sweater i could have done with another layer of like warmth but it is what it is so i'm almost home i will talk to you guys later i'm
I'm actually on my very last set. I'm doing hip thrust, and this is 40 pound weight. <laughs> I'm on my last set. I didn't record much of anything because I just wanted to do it and get it over with and then head back upstairs. My contacts are supposed to be here. Um, it's supposed to come soon. It's 3.24. Tell me why I recorded a video yesterday. I was so proud of myself. Um, exporting it now to edit and the quality is terrible. Terrible, like it's so bad. Let me finish these 12 hip thrusts and I'll be right back. Like I said, I recorded a video yesterday and it just did not come out good and I'm really upset because I really wanted to upload it tomorrow really 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 upset because i talked for what felt like an hour mommy made this green juice um which i am going to drink <laughs> this is what it's looking like right back. what you guys is that i really want to I want to get an apartment in Queens, so I'm looking for a small pot that I can cook up some, um, here we go, that I can cook up, why does it look like this? Um, I really want to get an apartment in Queens, and I've been looking, like, you know, like a one bedroom, or, um, even a, what would it be? A one bedroom or even um, a studio and child the rental market in New York is crazy it's literally very crazy and it's not even that it's super pricey like it is pricey but I feel like I can find something in my price range especially if I go to word of mouth route but what is crazy is that they have a three-way buy-in in New York where you have to give the landlord the first month rent the security and then you have to give the broker another month's rent which I feel like why isn't it that you're paying the first month and the security normally what happens is that the broker would get that first month from the landlord from the yeah the broker would get that first month from the landlord because that realtor helped them secure a rental for their unit i think it's a little bit unfair and yes i am looking at it from my side being the person that wants to rent i find it a little bit unfair that they're coming out of pocket three times over for a rent and then on top of that some of these places want you to provide provide 40 times like a bank statement that has 40 times um the rent like what the f what like it is not even 40 months in a year why do you it just does not make sense to me like if they wanted to see that you make an income of even like 16 16 times the rent then that that would be that would make sense because that shows that you could pay the rent you could pay your other little bills and you could pay for food but why do you want people to provide 40 times the rent like what it just the math that just does not add up to me it's very frustrating and granted i'm seeing a couple of them that you know says oh there's no renter's fee which is really nice because they realize they're deterring a lot of potential um renters doing stuff like that like i get it everybody wants their money but at the end of the day the landlord is gonna get the rest of those rent monies okay you're gonna get the rest of the rent um and sometimes some of them want to keep your deposit talking about oh this needs a fresh paint or this is broken that's why i always advocate like please take pictures before you move into somewhere like take pictures before you even start cleaning baby take pictures like the moment you get there from from your even looking you know i always record and stuff like that from you 
from your even looking at an apartment, a house, whatever, take video, take pictures because you do not want somebody to be holding onto your deposit talking about, oh, they got to fix something that's broke when it's been broken from day one. And always make notes of stuff. Always. Alright, so I'm going to wait for that to just dry out. I'm going to wash some grapes. Not grapes. Let me call them these grapes. These are cherries. These are tomato cherries. And I really... Cherry tomatoes. These are tomatoes, but they're cherry tomatoes. Oh, my God. I really like them. I like when they're small and cute like this. But it's just... It's very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. It's very annoying. It's very sad. I'm going to cut these in half. But for now, I'm really thirsty. Alright, let me get over to this. I'm going to cook this bacon. Naturally, hickory smoked bacon. And I have some fully cooked chicken breast bites. I don't know if you can see that. Like, I can't even see it. My contacts come today. I'm so excited. But anyways, I feel like this is starting to burn up. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so mommy got these little mini um, cucumbers. And I just think they're so cute. I already put my um, chicken and bacon on the tomatoes because I'm gonna never want one on the place, my dear. Um, and then I also have this, um, what is this called? This feta cheese slow roasted tomato that I got from um, Marks and Spencer's. And it's the last one and I do not want it to go to waste. I do not want to. Yes, I'm cutting this on the table. God forgive me, cause I, I don't care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep cutting it. Uh, the table is clean. The cucumber is clean. I'm just chopping them, and I'm lightly pressing. I'm not ruining the top of this. So y'all, bite me. Bite me, okay? bite me i just want something nice and light um and refreshing to eat nice light refreshing and then obviously the salad is not very light it's kind of thick to be honest but it, it goes all of this was bought except for the salad all of this was bought and except for the bacon <laughs> the chicken and the cucumbers and the tomato was bought at Costco that's really it I need to wash this put it off to the side all right so here's the pasta it's it's hot I'm gonna just pour it in there make a nice little meal out of it and I tasted the chicken while the camera was off. Oh my god, like, I will forever be buying. Uh-oh. Mm. And this is it. Mm. Let me rinse this out. Because what I hate is having something sit. And then it gets all tough. And I'm scrubbing for dear life. So I'd rather rinse it out. And this is with everything I use. I'd rather rinse it out. Put some soap on it and have it sit until I'm ready to wash it because I hate fighting to clean something oh you can't even see me okay I'm about to watch a movie and enjoy myself um let's do a little taste test this is what it looks like mm. This is really good. I'm that girl. I've been that girl. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Um, I got my contacts. 1-800-CONTACTS. It's nice to... It's nice to see you too. Finally. Because I'm so blind. 
love these glasses i think they do give me a vibe i've been getting so many compliments like so many compliments but it's time for your girl to get back to her contacts um i only bought the six months version because what i look like i'll be wearing this for like two months at a time three four sometimes it's not good i do need a new um prescription so i just didn't buy a lot and this is what they oh this one different anyways this is what they look like one two three four five six six months worth oh let me go put them on i love contacts okay but i do want to get some more diverse reading glasses like i want to get a thick black one and i want to get like a bright red one i do want to get some more reading glasses but that's for when i'm in the mood and i feel like i'm in the mood for my contacts if you are a four eye girly drop a comment down below say hi <laughs> drop an eye emoji <laughs> That's really it. I get AccuView, 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 don't know, with HydroClear Plus. They're 12 lenses. Um, Oasis, AccuView, Oasis. Let me see if this was for focus. I love, love, love these brands. I used to wear um, another brand. I can't remember what it's called it's in my thing i love those ones as well but my doctor prescribed me these so that's what i've been wearing see i just feel like i look different already <laughs> um let me fix that i just feel like i look different already i got my contacts in i could see the screen my hair even looked different on me with the contacts i like it <sighs> my salad. Mm. Scrumdily yum yum. Mm. Mm. This salad really does look amazing. So you can check it out if you want to see it. Now let's and jump into the bunch very of big parts mm -hmm. of the vlog. I have a makeup Everything. bag. I am heading to the gym again. I don't think I want to take off my bonnet. No, I actually don't think I want to. It is so cold. Like, I literally feel like I'm getting sick from how cold it is. Hello? Not much. How are you? What are you doing? Just called me. Look, I get that it's you in the firing line, Elliot. Guys, I think I'm actually getting sick. But Vin Wos's enemies used to disappear without a trace, Ooh. as in all of the witnesses. Given the way Sean's going about things, with you right there in the loop. <gasps> the lighting looks kind of funny. The lighting looked real funny. In a new water. I need to go to the gym. But I need to eat because I'm not about to pass out at the gym. But I think I'm getting sick. I'm really starting to like the vlogging camera. I really like it. Make sure y'all check out the latest vlog. It's not a vlog. The latest video. It's a sit down video. What's in my, what I pack in my flight attendant bags fall winter edition and this is what it's looking like so well you can't really see it but make sure you go and check out that video um i'm trying to be as consistent as possible there go my food um sorry give me a second I got this canned water from um, the hotel in London. 
I gave mommy one, I had one, and this is the last one. But it's literally still water in a can, like. <sighs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. And now this is the food. It's some Spanish food that mommy got close to her um, office. And it's so good. This has been a long vlog already. But I'm glad I was able to go to London. I'm very glad I had the days off that I had off. And I don't know what else was in this vlog. I didn't, I didn't fly a lot in this vlog. I can tell you that. So. Mmm. back from the gym and i was going through my text messages because i keep getting a bunch of random text messages from like things I, i've signed up for and that i could have swore like i could have swore i didn't click receive text alerts so it's kind of annoying so i was looking through and deleting some stuff and i saw that i have a apple <clears throat> appointment for 7.35 or 7.45 and I completely forgot that that was today. So, yeah, my headphones, for some reason, when they're on the, when they're on the connection mode for, like, auto detect your head, for some reason it does not connect when I take it off and then put it back on. It doesn't auto connect. It just, I have to forget the device and try to connect all over again which is very annoying um and I did that one time for like what felt like 30 minutes and it did not connect it was very annoying I found a hack to resolve the issue but the fact that it's doing that is kind of alerting and I it hasn't been two months that I've had these headphones so I called them and they made an appointment for me because they couldn't help me over the phone um Mommy and I got our headphones at the same time and her headphones is not making any issues. I don't know why mine got to be making issues, you know what I mean? Anyways, so I'll be going there later. The next thing I'm about to do is go on to Amazon and buy some Crest. Look how yellow my teeth look. Like, <clears throat> I was shocked. The lights were off and I think I went into the bedroom or the bathroom and... I was talking to myself I talk to myself all the time um I was talking to myself and I was like oh my god and I had to look real close my teeth are yellow and they're getting more and more yellow like look at this white you see the white look at that do you see it I don't like that so they have free shipping well they have next day shipping so I'm about to do that within eight hours which is probably like seven hours now six hours but yeah child the gym had me stressed i'm gonna finish watching this vlog um this is diana i love her vlogs she's not consistent but she said she would be back when she can be back so i've been watching her again but um that's it i'm gonna Make some tea and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. This is me. I'm wearing um one of the black mock necks from my flat attendant video. The same jacket. Guys, it's cold in New York. I didn't put no makeup on my face or anything because just because. And let me show you the shoes that I'm wearing and pants. These are the pants that I got from Fashion Nova a good while ago. And my shoes, sorry, that's my lens cap. And my shoes are Doc Martens sandals that I bought at the end of summer, but I will be wearing them in the winter. So I need some more cute fuzzy socks and like thick socks to wear with them. I'm down in the mail room, guys, because I realized one of my subscribers had bought me something that I did not get. And I don't know. I didn't realize that I got that 
uh, and I got that from July and it just irks me because I never expected like someone to go missing down here so that's really unfortunate um and someone spent their good earned hard dollars on me and I don't got it like that really pisses me off like I hate when someone spends their, their money on me and I break something or loses it or someone steals it it just <clears throat> Upsets my spirit. So I'm gonna check to see if I see it. Trying to be in my position. Keep my shades on because they're trying to see the vision. Tell me about my see, I need your love. See, I need your love. Me I wasn't having the best experience at the mall because I went to the Apple store and I went to Zales. Um, but it all worked out in the end. So now I'm at Target. Let me see. Listen, my forehead is huge. <laughs> By the way, I got my rings fixed. Thank God for insurance. But this one is new. Isn't she a beauty? And then I bought mommy a ring as well. So, this one do not enter. Where's the ending? Hold on. Okay, guys, might be a little shaky. But remember I told you that I am apartment shopping? I literally cannot wait. Oh my God like all right so i have a goal of like december <laughs> december january to find an apartment um and i'm looking for queens yeah. i'm gonna reach out to my girl monica different type of monica and she is a realtor in new york so i'm gonna see like you know how she could help me but i really need to find somewhere and like oh this is just it's giving everything like I want to start buying now. Like, look at this cauldron. Look at it's a mug. Oh my god. Look, it says "Hey Boo." That's so cute. And it's five dollars. I used to look at Target as being expensive, but this Target isn't that expensive because five dollars for those things—that's not bad. Anyways, I only came in here for one thing and one thing only. So I'm looking for that one thing. And that would be the Crest White Stirps. Because remember I told y'all my teeth are looking too yellow for my liking. Um, so I need to figure out how to find it. Now I got this cream pie. Make sure in a second. Is in Jamaica. And I love it so much. That when I saw it up here. And I know I've seen it before. I just had to get it. I just had to get it. I'm getting these little things. I'm doing some girl math. Uh oh. Okay, period. Girl math. Oh. Girl math is what I came here to buy was $44. Didn't end up buying it, but I got stuff for less than $44. So I saved money. <laughs> That's my girl math. This is a judgment free zone, but this is what it looks like. You can get it in Jamaica as well. Mm. I'm watching so much movies at the moment. This one is The Wheel of Time Season 2, Episode 7. And then I also... Oh my god, it's melting so much. My Talenti. I love Talenti. I've never tried the Strawberry Shortcake before. But we're going to try it tonight. I'm going to take a slice of this. I'm going to eat probably all of that. I'm kind of sad. And then mommy did cook some... Whatever this is. I'm about to eat that too. And yeah, that's my night. This is what the box looks like if anybody's interested in it. Um, yeah. Good morning. It is. What's, what day is it? Uh, Friday, September 29th. I'm still on call right now. Um, I'm on call until 2 p.m. and it's 11. It's 11 a.m. So I've been on call for. Well, with. At home call, on call, um, it's 12 hours. So my shift started at 2 a.m. But I haven't got assigned anything yet. I'm good for four days, so we'll see. But I did go to the gym a while ago, and I did lower body. Yesterday I did upper body, and I did cardio. Yesterday I also did cardio. Um, it's winter, so I feel like it's the perfect time to get back in it. And I just wanted to show you my outfit, except for the shoes. 
I got this jacket from Shein a long time ago and I never knew like how I was going to wear it, what I was going to wear it with because it was cropped. But then I realized I should just wear it with my high-waisted workout pants. And it feels so darn good. It feels really good and it's really cute. <laughs> this is it. It looks cute too when it's open. You can wear it like that. All the way open. I feel like when it's open I have like a little bit more of a little shape. Because it gives me like little shadows. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to bathe and eat now. So I will catch y'all later. Let me show you outside. Outside looks treacherous. Outside looks insidious. Outside looks like Hurricane 5 Velma. Outside looks terrible, okay? I love it for being inside. But now inside feels cold too. And I don't like that feeling. Um, but like I said, I'm about to get ready and I'll catch y'all later.